On Sunday, Christine was finally laid to rest in her hometown in General Santos. The Dacero family thanks everybody who rallied behind her. But before Christine's bureau, the National Bureau of Investigation collected samples from her remains. The NBI admits forensic examination proved to be difficult since embalming has more or less contaminated Christine's body. But Deputy Director Ferdinand Levine expresses eagerness to try their luck. It was uh, more than worth it. We have very interesting leads. Uh, we have very interesting, uh, encouraging uh, results. Police Chief De Sinas, meanwhile, has ordered a separate inquiry on Makati City Police for possible lapses in handling the Serra's case. He wants recommendations by January 13. Sinas called on the activation of a special investigation task force, the Serra, to be led by the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group. Paano po ang recommendations ng uh, Director for Investigation and Detective Management ay i-evaluate po ko po yun at doon po kami mag-usap ng RD, ng NCRPO, to compare notes regarding sa inquiry na gagawin po ng DIDM. Sina says NCR Regional Director Vicente Dana would still oversee the case. The PNP will also look into the administrative complaint filed by the Dacera family. They want the medical legal officer to be dismissed from service for authorizing an embalming procedure before autopsy. Sina says he has yet to receive a copy of the complaint. Christine's friends, meanwhile, asked the public for donations for their legal defense. They have since denied any involvement in her untimely death. The group says it cannot fund lawyer fees as most of them could not work while investigation is ongoing. Some of them are um, currently suspended sa work nila. Some of them cannot fly because of the ongoing case, meaning um, they're not earning uh, habang tumatak po tong kaso na to. They also appeal to lawmakers to recall bounties placed on their heads. For News 5, Camille Samonte, We Are One News.